Hey folks, welcome back to My Kitten Reads. I'm Eleanor and this is a bit of a quick informal update. I was supposed to be filming um, another unboxing this weekend, but I've done two in a row and I don't really feel like doing it this evening. And so I'm going to give you a really quick update on what I've been reading today on National on Reconciliation Day in Canberra, which is a public holiday that's a couple of years old now. Um, and is, yeah, um, like I said, Reconciliation Day. So um, I have been reading some poetry, which is uh, from this collection, um, which uh, I bought with the gift voucher that my parents gave me for Christmas. So it is, and I will probably butcher this, I am so sorry, uh, Yanu Junu Yagu is the title of the collection and it's by Charmaine Paper Talk Green who is an indigenous woman and poet from uh the western australia um and this is dedicated to her mother and is based around she went away to school um Charmaine went away to school as a young girl for high school um to the big city with just a red suitcase and over the year and her mother wrote her letters and she wrote letters back to her mother but she doesn't have the ones she wrote to her mother but over the years she kept the ones her mother um wrote her in her red suitcase and when and then when that fell apart she still kept it and so this is a collection of poetry based around those letters and her feelings about those letters and what they contain and what they meant to her and what that red suitcase meant to her um, so I'm about a quarter of the way through and I'm really quite enjoying them. Um, yeah, reading aloud is sometimes a little bit difficult because she does get her, her, her language through. Um, so I do my best, but I probably butcher it more than, more than is nice. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of nostalgia and a lot of, a lot of poems about, the concept of letter writing, particularly the concept of letter writing between mother and daughter and and the concept of going away to school in and and of institutions and how institutions have affected her family, have affected Indigenous people over the years. Um, I just got finished reading one which was about her father and how she's been reflecting on um her father's history that he wouldn't talk about in institutions um so yeah it's quite interesting um very well written I re I'm really quite enjoying them um but very reflective very nostalgic makes me kind of wish we still wrote letters a lot um because there's something physical and tangible about a letter that isn't in an email or a text message or a voicemail or whatever um and I kind of wish my niece was old enough for me to write letters to um she's probably not at that level of reading yet but um yeah it does it does sort of make me vaguely wistful um but it's they're very good poems and it's a very good collection which um I will hopefully continue to read. Um, it's very, very small. Um, I might probably won't get it all done today and I may not actually get it all done this month given how close to the end of the month we are. But um, I will do my best. And that's essentially what I've been reading at the moment outside of uh, reading for my essay, which is due at the end of the week. So um, yeah, that's, that's what I've been reading this Reconciliation Day. Uh, so happy Reconciliation Day to everybody in the ACT. Um, and I currently thoroughly recommend this poetry collection by Charmaine Peppertalk Green. So, uh, yeah, I will see you all again really soon. Bye.